This is Twit. Hey folks, I'm Ant Pruitt. And what do you get your favorite tech geek that has everything? A Club Twit gift subscription, of course. Twit podcasts keep them informed and entertained with the most relevant tech news podcasts available. With the Club Twit subscription, they get access to all of our podcasts ad-free. They also get access to our members-only Discord, access to exclusive outtakes, behind-the-scenes, and special content such as AMAs, which I just love hosting, plus exclusive shows such as Hands on Mac, Hands on Windows, and the Untitled Linux Show. Purchase your geek's gift at twit.tv slash club twit, and it will thank you every day. So our door just had a big release, the 7.0 and then a, a follow up, the mm -hmm. 7.1. Let's let's chat a little bit about some of the new stuff that's in uh, our door seven. And I'm sure you, mm -hmm. you've got a hand in working on a bunch of that. Kind of what's the overview? What's new in seven? The, the amazing part in seven, like the for a casual user, there was initially no big news at all because the last two years we're working under the hood to change the complete time represent time representation um how we uh auto represents like audio time which is like samples uh that comes from the audio clock and like music time which is bars and beats and we had lots of bugs in pretty much all the versions earlier because we were always using sample time for representation representing music clock in in the way under the hood Mm -hmm. And that led to like lost notes or like all the MIDI stuff was kind of subtly broken. You change the tempo and at some point like the a note went like, uh, well, it didn't play anymore or it played, it was stuck for forever. And we figured we needed to fix uh, this for good. And it was like, a, well, two or three year long effort to change everything under the hood. And then we figured, okay, if we release this now, nobody's going to notice the difference. Okay, MIDI will just work, but yeah, big deal. And then Paul came up like it was his kind of idea to start like what Ableton Live does to have like a queue or well clip launching feature in it. Because now that we have like proper musical time, we can really just do this uh, correctly. We can time stretch any region, which can be audio MIDI and then time stretch it exactly to the bar beat and having lead loop correctly and even um, well repeat it correctly without having any lost events or lost notes. So, uh, well, if you scroll a bit back up, you see like the, the big new part in Ardor 7 was uh, like, a, well, we call it a trigger page or a queue because um, you can queue up new events to happen. And those queues just do something, which is usually like launch a new clip or um, trigger some automation. And um, that was the, it's, well, it's, the main thing. Yeah, it's, it's this guy. So for mm -hmm. those, the, those that don't understand what we're talking about, it's it's using a controller kind of like this. This one's not yet supported, um, but right. it's coming, hopefully. Um, but the ability to have different loops on different buttons and punch a button and get a loop to start, say like a, a bass drum on your, your one and your three, boom, boom. And then you can add a snare on two and four and uh, you know add some chords and add something else and then in the middle of a performance or recording of a song you can hit one of the other buttons and mix up what your bass drum is doing and uh that's that is a uh, it's a pretty as far as music goes a pretty new way to perform music but there are some people doing some very impressive things with that both recording mixing and also live performance and i am pretty stoked because i see i see a future for using our door for all of that stuff um and you know once it's it's early on in that being supported in our door but it's really a it's a pretty cool feature that's added i, I i'm excited about it well i explain it a lot better than i do uh well that's one key difference <laughs> it helps to have the prop <laughs> indeed it's not like when you press a button, like it starts immediately, but you, you cue it for the next beat or the next bar. Like you say, like at the start of the next bar, the kick drum mm -hmm. goes in or at the end of the bar, the kick drum stops. Um, so it's like you're not live playing it, but you're like you're you're preparing a bit ahead of time what will happen. So the, yeah, you're, uh, that's so you're really setting nice up part. all the things that are going to happen on the mm -hmm. next measure. Um, or the, yeah. Or yeah, the next yeah, beat. It's, it's, like that is uh, that's uh, that's a fun part of the whole thing to do. 